Listín Diario Editorial for April 11th of 2023. Pedro Corto and the Sproples of Maria Gargajo. Between San Juan de la Maguana and Las Matas de Farfán, there is a small town called Pedro Corto, famous for its agricultural wealth and its cheese production. Before reaching it, a modern penitentiary correction and humanization center was erected, but it has been abandoned, which was originally designed to house almost a thousand inmates. Incomprehensively, the project has not come to an end because the Attorney General's office, as in the case of the new Las Parras prison, has opened a process for corruption against the authorities and contractors that intervene in the work. While the execution of the new facility was automatically paralyzed due to the effects of the Medusa case, two needs remain unsatisfied. First, the obligation to preserve as assets that belongs to the state, regardless of the course of the Medusa judicial process. And second, the urgent priority of alleviating the serious overcrowding of inmates in the precarious facility of that southern subregion. If the state has assumed a policy of humanizing prisons, creating adequate spaces for the confinement of inmates, there is no justification for a procedural factor to prevent or paralyze the completion of the prison complex. We cannot continue to delay Pedro Corto, given the urgent need for more and modern prisons in the country, due to a judicial prudence that sooner or later will have to end with the recovery by the state of the money distracted in the rich tenders for its contraction. Here, it seems that the example of the scrapple of Maria Gargajo is prevailing, the woman who rigorously scrubbed the shell of chicken eggs before cooking them. The hygienic obsession of the mythological Maria Gargajo was so famous that the disappointment of modesty ruined it when, after impeccably cleaning the frying pan, she would spit into it to find out if the oil was hot and ready to fry the eggs. For Listín Diario, voiceover and translations by Indira Rodriguez.